Alright guys, we're here gonna be doing some robot ratings and I've gotten some suggestions to add some lo-fi music to the background which I have now done so you guys can hear that now and we're gonna start off with please read this CAD, any feedback would be appreciated and he sent a link to the main assembly so if you want to check out the CAD yourself you can very easily so thank you for doing that. Uh, on the CAD, looks like you have a big hoarding basket uh, it's nice to see that. I have not really seen much use of hoarding this season, however, in the match we saw just uh, like a day ago. But that's okay though. I think color sorting is gonna be pretty important, so they don't need you don't like you're gonna just get rid of the other colors that you don't need, which is like blue. If you're red team, you wanna sort the blue ones into the basket and hold it, and then just score all the red ones for yourself. So I think that's something to invest in, but. This looks pretty nice. Standard six motor drive on that looks like it looks like 450 2.75. And they have a pretty big poly ramp here, which I strongly dislike because just how easily I think it can snap, especially since how far it sticks out. I think it's gonna just snap. Uh other than that, looks pretty nice. Very change up style intake on the top again. And then a basket on the back back. Now, there is a piston here for the match loads, I'm assuming. And another piston here looks like uh, for some sort of mechanism to either like outtake the balls out of the the basket, I think. I think it's to hold and outtake the, the balls. I think that when this comes up, it's uh, in this holding position. And when it goes down, it's ready to outtake. So I'm gonna give it an A tier, pretty, pretty nice design. I think it's pretty nice. I rented this bot. I think we've seen this one before. Very, uh, very, very hero bot list. So I'm gonna give it a, a B tier, you know? Can't go wrong with that. Is this intake, or is this meta intake? Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a solid intake. I feel like the dog is not able to carry more than one bo a block at a, at a time. That's kind of a problem. Um, I'm gonna give it a C tier. I think you would need to be able to carry more than one at a time, but it does make for good efficiency. And I, if I think I've trained well, I think the dog can have great, great accuracy. Fast prototype will be taken apart and catted for final and mesh will be used. That is a pretty fast prototype indeed. Straight around like that. Bam, bam. Very nice. Let me give it a B tier. Another prototype. This one, this time it's uh, done very jankly, but that's all right. You know, that's what prototypes are for. Another, ch another change up intake. I'm gonna give this one a, a C tier. Can I have improvements? Um, what is this? My room is a mess, but yeah. Oh, okay, this is a <laughs> this is a high stakes Lego build. <laughs> that's cool. I'll give it an S tier. Rate the FTC render. Okay, don't see much of these. Um, in my server, but that's cool. I like, I like the, the change of pace. We have these mechanum wheels, mechanum wheel drive, four me four wheel mechanum wheel drive. We have a loader for the specimen, and then uh, that a hang. I think it's a, a hang. I'm not sure, too sure how this hang works without seeing much of the mechanism itself. But I assume this is a, a, a some sort of uh, arm. I think for using like linear slides. Pretty cool. S tier. Good render. Alright, that's a, a high stakes bot, I'm pretty sure. Another high stakes one. I'm gonna skip the high stakes one and just do and also the drivetrains, because I've done a lot of drivetrain ratings already and I think it's kinda getting boring. What's this? Okay, we have a, a shooter <laughs> this season. That's gonna get a C tier. I it's it's cool, but I don't think it's gonna work. Alright. Yeah, I've rated the the I um these matches which are super good check out on youtube i think you probably got used probably seen it already i think a lot of people watch that very interesting another hoarding bot looks like they were getting ready to add a hoarding basket on the back capacity of 73 that's so that's a little bit exaggerated i feel like i i don't know if that's i mean i don't think you're ever gonna get to 73 but that is a huge capacity i'm gonna give it an a tier good build is this tech Pressure fit nylon nuts as collars. Hmm. That's that's tech for your weight savings 
after getting after Vex getting rid of um, the poly, of you not going to use a lot of poly. I think um, that's the new weight saving deck. Not really. I think there are literally the um, like nylon or plastic shaft colors already. You can just use. I don't know. I mean, this is a little bit excessive. There are the black ones that you can use. I'm gonna give it an A tier. I mean, if you want to, you can. Yeah, I already rated this one. Uh, and then this one I forgot by Dogwater. It's, uh, it's the CAD that he posted that was blurred before, and now it's unblurred. Very heavy. That's the first impression. A lot of excessive weight, especially with the flex wheels. Flex wheels are not going to be fast. Um, definitely mesh with sprockets, I think, are going to be faster. Sprocket mesh intake. But we can still break this, uh, nevertheless. Then he comes in through here and there's two exits, right? One through the top here and then one right here, which I like the the same side exits more because this just requires more driving skill right same side exit has been like a change up stop intake where it can exit out the middle and the top i really like that um it looks all right i think there's not really a whole lot of hoarding capacity i think they really i mean they really focused on like quality of cad which i appreciate i'm gonna give this an eight tier definitely a very high quality of cad however competitiveness i think it can be beat out by some of the other bots we've seen. But nevertheless, it's an A tier. Alright, we've rated that one already as well. And that one, I'm pretty sure. Robot in one day, any feedback? Good work, Robot in one day. Uh, definitely looks like Robot in one day. Uh, looks looks nice. I would remove that shaft. I changed this to a screw joint, to be honest. I liked what I saw a couple days ago. Where they use screw joints for here, so then they can reach into the match load station and then grab the match loads out with a banded intake which i thought was really clever other than that um i mean i i assume you have a you have a basket here maybe not i think if you, if you do then you definitely want to add rubber bands on all, all the other sides too and if you don't i suggest adding a basket there other than that it looks pretty nice i mean i you can't really argue anything it's more about one day you can't really argue that they could have done better on the drivetrain. They didn't really have much time. I'm gonna give it an A tier for a robot in one day. Definitely, you know, it, it's there. I think if you guys <laughs> had seen, I think our our um, mecha robot was built in three hours. So, but we already had we had, we had a starting drivetrain. Robots are super easy to build. To be honest, yeah, these bots are like maybe like five hour max. But this is this looks nice. N another hero bot. Is, I'm gonna give it in B tier. Who needs space between metal and gears? Uh, you do, unless um, un you will, whenever it causes friction and kills your drivetrain. <laughs> it's getting a, it's getting a, a C tier. I think you might want to space it out, use some force, and just pull it apart. Crazy tolerance and fumble. All right, yeah, that's. I was getting a C tier as well. I would just uh, make him <laughs> make it work, and that's all. That is all. Lady Brown spotted. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Lady Brown spotted. People are very addicted to Vex. They can see <laughs> Lady Brown from a from this. That's crazy. All right.